Welcome to Genovia. I am Princess Mia Thermopolis and I am here to tell you about one of my best friends. I really do owe my life to her because without her I would not be here at all. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the life story of Meg Cabot. Meg Cabot was born on February 1st, 1967 in a little town called Bloomington, Indiana. As a child, she loved reading various different kinds of books, but her favorites were comic books and science fiction novels. From what she tells me, she claims that she found her love of reading when she was looking for a cool, air-conditioned place to go in the summer, and that place ended up being the library. All throughout school, she loved the Disney princesses, and the obsession with princesses grew when Star Wars was made and Princess Leia was introduced. In high school, she wrote many stories for, for pure enjoyment because she said that it was the only thing for her to do. Along with writing her own stories, Meg was a staff writer for the local newspaper. She never wanted to be an author. She had originally wanted to be an actress or a veterinarian, but she failed algebra in high school and her dreams of doing anything in the medical field were squashed. After graduating from high school, Meg attended Indiana University where she studied fine art and illustration. In 1991, she graduated from college with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. She decided to move to the beautiful New York City to start pursuing her career as an illustrator. But things did not work out the way she planned, and she ended up working for New York University as an assistant resident hall director. She really did not want to do this, but it gave her lots of time to go back to writing the one thing that she really enjoyed doing. Meg's success did not come overnight to her. It took her seven years to get her first book even looked at, and it was only after several thousand rejection letters that her first novel, Where Roses Grow Wild, was published in 1998. Her first published book was a romance novel and was published under the name Patricia Cabot. Meg also wrote under the pen name Jenny Cabot because she was hired by three different publishing companies. She used her real name when she started to become a more recognized author. Throughout the next two years, Meg went on to publish a handful of other romance novels. While working on her romance novels, she was also working on one of her most famous and most recognized books, The Princess Diaries, starring me, which was aimed at the young adult level. Because she was already a published author, Meg thought that her new novel would be picked up, but to her surprise, it got rejected 17 times before being published by HarperCollins in 2000. Inspiration for The Princess Diaries was taken from Meg's own childhood. Meg looked to her journals that she kept as a teenager to draw comparisons from her life to mine. The Princess Diaries became an overnight success and was selling in more than 17 countries worldwide. Because of the success, HarperCollins hired Meg to continue writing for the series, which ultimately produced 10 books about me, Princess Mia Thermopolis. Not only was the book a huge success, but it was soon after turned into a critically acclaimed movie starring Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews. The Princess Diaries series is Meg's most popular series and sold more than 16 million copies worldwide. Meg has also written a number of other series for young adults such as All American Girl, Avalon High, and Vanished. A handful of her books have been turned into movies for either the big screen or the Disney Channel. Cabot has written over 50 books ranging from tween readers, readers to adults. Because of her fantastic writing, she has won many awards such as being on the New York Times bestseller list, New York Public Library Books for Teens, ALA Quick Picks for Reluctant Young Adult Readers, the Evergreen Young Adult Book Award, and she was named 2008 Distinguished Alumni of Indiana University. Cabot lives with her husband and their two cats and splits her time between Florida and New York City. And when she misses me, she just opens up one of her books and visits me in my palace in Genovia.